got lots of options. He actually goes for his ulti right away. It's pretty uncommon usually. But I guess they do have a lot of good lockdown. Like things mm. like Curse Crown with Monkey King Ultimate sounds pretty good. It's like you know where they're probably going to be. You have time to set it up kind of a thing. I could see that getting some decent value. The ulti opportunity. May also speak to some discomfort playing this hero. That decent amount of right clicks too. Gets the armor bonus when he gets it off. Nice. And if that Wraith King move top shows anything, it's that Maneski are happy to push these early towers, take early fights, which don't command, give you oh. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Uh, once you take that fast tier one, the, the game becomes so simple uh, for offline players. You just push the lane when it feels like it's safe, and then you just jungle in the, in the uh, time in between here. Oh, nice. We can hear the stream. That's on your computer now. We've got Dota sounds. Isn't that's, that Dota that's sounds? Not, that's a stream sounds. Oh. I mean, we can make this a, a five-man cast if you want. I'm, I'm, I'm down. You got it? Okay. It's gone. I know what it was. It was your Twitch stream when you were watching the stream earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, I forgot that was open in the background. Yeah, that one's yeah. on me. Uh, I, don't, I don't think the... Hopefully that hasn't been playing the whole time. <laughs> top lane, Baboka gets low. Will not die to the damage over time from the Wraith Fire Blast. You know, that's actually my favorite um, uh, Dota Plus uh, perk in the game, is uh, kills by skeleton, skeleton hero kills, dude, uh, yes. that is the best one. I was like, oh, I'm buying this one for 10k. Yep. That one's great. I've got a fully decked out Wraith King with good, all the shows choice. too. That's a fun hero. I, I... Online SRF. Getting very low to the Laguna Blade, didn't actually go down the heal. Live and first Laguna I've seen and... That's okay, that skill sucks. For an ultimate, 450 damage. It's pretty yeah. underwhelming, but it is low cooldown at least. Compared with the other aspects of the hero, it's very solid. Yeah, lean is all about the full pack. It's not about any any True. one individual spell well, is not that great. Fiery Soul is broken, but yeah. Other than that, yes, the the rest of the package is a little uh, kind of all over the is is decent. I definitely grab a lot of lean skills when I play with the so right now, IG is just kind of trying to find some ground, I guess. Um, Medusa is doing well, I feel like. Yeah. Um, she's just kind of AFK. She's got the tri-camp, so everything's fine there. Almost got Mask of Manus, so XXS should be on a really good trajectory to speed up. This kind of slow pace favors IG, right? They've got Medusa, or is that not so much the case? I just feel like uh, she's off to a good start. Um, you know, I, one of the games I watched recently was a Medusa game. It was a resolution, so maybe it's a... Um, a uh, outlier game, but you know he farmed super fast, outfarmed his opponents. Um, in, in fact, if we're looking at worth. He's he's at the top right now. And now they just finished Mask of Madness, so it's surely just going to get a little bit more one-sided. Yes. Um, but I guess I'd also think about team fight stuff, and Mineski's good there too. So I don't know. Mineski yet to get a kill. They did take that top T1 tower very early with the rotation, but I imagine they were probably expecting to be a bit more just generally aggressive and finding these plays because you know heroes like Willow, heroes like Raid King. Lena, you want to be fighting a bit, getting some kills, not just, you know, taking one tower in the first 12 minutes of the game. Mm -hmm. It feels like Maneski do need to do more, but they're going to have tools to do more once they get this Wraith King Blink, which he's 100 gold away from. Mm -hmm. Willow's level 6, will solo kill an aggressive, not find it. Yeah, there's there's a couple of squishy heroes basically on the enemy team that should be really worried about that, because if Wraith King can at least initiate and get a stun, they have enough damage fall between, like, Lena, even, like, Souncer and Monkey King, that I could see, like, Crystal Maiden and Urshaker getting killed instantly. Some of these cases. They do get a scan. Um, it was just Boboka level 5 Earth Shakers, so they're kind of checking that out together, a little bit worried about a big smoke. And that's actually one of the scariest things, I guess, about the what IG is doing is that they are pretty much just AFK farming their jungle, but in moments like this, it gets scary because you don't know when they're actually leaving their jungle and prepping to smoke. So if you get a scan off on an Earth Shaker like that, that's a little scary and it requires more Maneski heroes to actually rotate over and, and try to show up and impact that. Blink pick up now and what it can do. He immediately TP's bottom on Ice 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 and smokes with Willow. This is a great kill combo. The damage from the Bedlam and the yep. Blink initiation. And he's also pushing, he summoned his skeletons to push top before he TP'd down here. So great move. that's going to just allow, put, force your enemies to send someone there to defend and that opens oh, up kills elsewhere on the map. He did nuke the creep wave here on Legion, so they see him now. They'll, they'll go on him. Um, see if they can follow up have the damage to get this one. The Bedlam's there. They're using everything. SRF is very fast, which makes this a little bit more difficult. They'll yeah. get the kill. And Eski's on the board. So what they needed to do probably was uh, uh, stagger the Curse Crown with Bramble, if possible. It's hard, though. Uh, but his Dispel caught both. And they're following up. Yeah, Dara wants another with the Boundless Strike follow up. The perfect chain stun coming as Urshaker looked to the counter fissure. We'll get them their second kill, and they'll turn right into a push. Unfortunately, because he summoned the Skeleton's top, he doesn't have the bottom got one loan. Oh, it's there. <laughs> yeah. Just he has a... skeleton. 
That's from killing the enemy hero, I think. And he's queuing up a Midas next. Kind of interesting. Okay. Um, don't see it that often, but it's a nice way to like try to catch up in levels. Not that he needs to, because he's still doing well. But he does need to try to catch up and uh, stay equal with a Medusa yeah. farm, which is not always going to be easy. Yeah, my my experience playing with this hero is his timings are around his levels, not so much his items. Mm. Um, yeah. Particularly when you're not you're not really the main carry. Even if you're playing safely in Wraith King, your mid is more the carry Dyer's because you're a hero that gets kited. Uh, your level timings with level 3 ulti, it's a 40 second cooldown reincarnation. Mm -hmm. Often your level 20 talent, um, if you can get the double skeletons, is amazingly strong. And even against certain heroes with mana burn, you're like, it's going to be important because like you can't team fight against like those PL defusal heroes or weavers yeah. until you've got your level 20. Yeah, it feels bad when you have to get the no reincarnation mana cost. But if you know, if you're playing in, like an average pub, that's like the first thing people pick is like PL anti mage. Yep. And then you just have to out level them and uh, be aggressive, and then it can work out just fine. So, but and that's what it feels like right now. Isis, Isis is having a good game. Also, you probably see this Medusa on the other team, and you're like, this game is probably going late, even though we may yeah. not want it to. Can we really push high ground and beat this Medusa early? I think where things are at right now, you say no. Do you see the Monkey King's item so far? It's uh, cool. The defusal, yeah. I yeah. saw that queued up earlier. I like this. Um, it's, it's an item that on paper seems like maybe the wrong choice, but when he uses his ultimate, it counts as a hero hit, which means that he's still getting 50 mana burn per hit in his ultimate. Ooh. So if he catches a Medusa, that is actually going to be incredibly powerful early game. And Deuce is a hero that kind of just sits still normally and, mm -hmm. you know, sits there in a team fight, doesn't move, very yeah. easy to, you know, get caught in a Wukong's command. Yeah, and he could Wukong's and just turn around and yep. he'll still, they'll still be hitting the Medusa. It's actually kind of a cool solution. I think they picked it first, right? Like Medusa was the last pick, but it was, yeah. it's it's still a cool pivot from uh, from Mushi here. And it's, it's an item that basically does like, uh, it's like 60 damage or something for an agility hero. It's pretty strong if they have mana. Yeah. yeah. If I'm Medusa seeing that, I'm thinking like, I gotta get a Hurricane Pike or something to get the hell out of that Wukong's mm -hmm. command immediately. At the well, same time, there's so many stuns that they could just lock you down. He's, he's learning from Mushi, at least. He's going for a Manta style after his uh, Mask of Mance, the, Manta Link, it's the much disliked. But um, with that said, it's it's a pretty good game for it. There's things like um, Yule Scepters. There's uh, the Cursed Crowns, uh, the Bramble Mazes. He's got to deal with Global Silence. There's a lot of really good reasons, actually, to have a Manta. It's just uh, not a very good damage item for the cost um, is, is the downside. There's usually better things to buy. But I think this is the right game to pick it up, and it's, I like it better than a BKB. Different where things are going, he'll have plenty of times to get this Manta and then also whatever follow-up items he so chooses. They do have vision of the Earthshaker here. Uh, very likely they're going to want to dive this. They're scanning, checking to see if there's a rotation. It's it's actually just some jungling heroes. <laughs> but Yep, but at the same time, they know if they go in this shaker under the tower, there's going to be two to three heroes really nearby, and they can also immediately get TP'd on. So yeah. I think if that scan saw nobody, they would probably kill the Boga. Yeah, 100%. This is like one of those, just one of those dangerous moments where you have to try to predict what your opponents are doing. He doesn't know, I don't think. But he did interrupt his TP. <laughs> Oh. And raindrop. Okay, they know it as well. Maybe they did realize. Ah, they must have seen like a jump or something. Do you get like a raindrop pop up by any chance, even if they're in the darkness? I'm not sure if you do. So but... no He's going for the kill top. Drops the Wukongs on the Boka. The Echo. Whoa, that's a uh, questionable Echo Slime. May actually still survive. He didn't stun Mushi. He's going to immediately pounce okay. down and get a kill. So. Up game to solo. Okay, so definitely worth the time for Mushi in the end. Um, he didn't technically want a TP, I guess. He just wanted us to grow and get that solo kill. I actually think the the Manta on the noose, the more I think about it, is an essential item, like you said, or the BKB, uh -huh. and purely because of global. Like, yeah. it, Mineski just had, if, if they initiate with a, whatever it is, Monkey King, or more likely the Wraith King Blink Stun, and immediately global Radiant's silence, there's no counterplay. Like, how do you, mm -hmm. how do you actually deal with that and you need Medusa to be able to immediately Manta and Stone Gaze to gonna, kind of bail out the whole They're team. gonna run at this Deuce though. It's gonna be hard to catch her. They wait for the creep wave yeah. to die. That way they can chase. They need to get in Yule's range otherwise they won't be able to kill her but yeah, she's running away now. This is pretty much over. They can hide in the side now. They're gonna show actually. Maybe not. Yeah, not seeing any things just yet. They didn't have the... They're well positioned for it though. They're, they're, they're looking for reverse kills. Both teams gathering around this bottom lane. We could see the first big global balance usage in a team fight here. Well, two Wraith King, uh, ulti, so he's going to have that lower cooldown now, and he's happy to be the front line. Not a hero you want to go on. So they see the Medusa smoke pop, now they see everybody. Yep. Is he going to blink away? No, they're, they want to fight this, it seems like, but... They're going to terrorize, they're going to go in, stun Medusa. 
take this fight. The terrorist is going to catch one. That's going to stop the Legion from helping out his team. There's no pressing attack, but Stone Gaze does barely come out, luckily. Ice 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 on the front line. It's going to go down with just enough mana to reincarnate. He's completely alone and may just die a second time, though. Surrounded by five heroes, gets jeweled. Right click down by the Medusa Mirana. And they lost the Lena in the back lines as well. Yeah, she just kind of took a lot of damage. I mean, I'm kind of surprised they took this fight without Wukong's command. I, I would have thought that that would have been kind of mandatory, but I, th I think it was the, the Manta just got connected from the Medusa, so oh, yeah, they got there just in time. And as soon as the Medusa ulti comes out, then they just couldn't initiate. And now she just looks like the most boss hero ever, just blowing towers up. Yeah. Well, that one happened. <laughs> Almost got arrowed back here, too. A lot of heroes waiting around. Radiant structures are gonna fortified. Put IG in a pretty good place here. They've got a smallish gold lead, but considering that their lineup is pretty good late game with the Medusa, and here is like Shaker to back up a Medusa sound in this game. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Once they, it's one of those, to me, playing against Silence is like, when you get enough items, you don't care about Silence anymore. Like you get your BKBs, yeah. whatever it may be, and that five position Silence can suddenly feel pretty useful. Let's see if they can kill uh, Legion here. They do get him. Uh, did he, she must have stunned too early or something. Or maybe he cast press the attack before the stun hit or something. I'm not sure. I was confused. Still dead hero. Hero, Midas online for Wraith King. Dropping that wherever he can. Not looking all too farmed. Yeah, that, that was his first Midas usage. He got it right before that bottom fight, and the fight didn't go well, so he didn't get to use it until he comes back. And he's still like a 20 minute Midas, and this hero is really not that tanky yet without armor items. So something like a Blade Mill or an Armlet is pretty much required. If you don't get that, then your two lives kind of feel like 1.5 lives, and then your hero doesn't feel so good. So. I mean, he was, in, he was in a good spot, but it's like Minescu was fishing for kills for so long while IG was just AFK farming that it felt like a playstyle um, difference that the, maybe Minescu wasn't expecting. I don't know if you feel the same way, but that's kind of what it looked like to me. I think they they felt like IG is playing this farm game with Medusa and not going to actually challenge them to like, oh, you know, we don't have Wukong's command. Let's, it doesn't matter. We've got global. We've got everything else. Mm -hmm. We've got the Dark Willow ultis. Uh, Medusa was happy to come to it and had the man to stop. Not looking very good for a ninja boogie here. Um, Although, okay, they do get the, the winner. Of that. They're going to keep pressing forward. I think they feel very strong now with this Medusa. Uh, great front line. Blink oh goes land. There's Baboka. Shows up. Bails on XXS, who barely gets the stone gears off. Just had enough mana for it. And nice size size. What an angle. Oh, oh, trouble. Huge team fight there. That was yeah. a beautiful Echo Slam. They just got all their ultis back up on the Mineski side, but it was IG with the great Echo Slam usage and... Good positioning, like having that Medusa Radiant in the front line, taking up all the damage, surviving through it all. She's so tanky now. She finished Manta style pre-20 minutes, then she gets a Dragonlance, now she's queuing up Scotty.